Been waiting a very long time for this. This is an LMT Mars Heavy in 6.5 Creedmoor. It's a 20 inch stainless steel barrel, one and eight twist. This is the DMR. And you can see here with the LMT DMR stocks, there's gonna be a plastic rail cover from the factory. It pops off uh, with a flathead polymer tinny rail that will accept um, something like this. This is the, again, the BNT monopod. And this is the medium height one. And I find that medium works pretty well. The only things I've done to this rifle so far, I mean, I just got it, but there's a Geisley uh, SSAE in here, um, added this monopod, and we're gonna add some other stuff. So a uh, big shout out to Steve at Colonial Armory. Um, I ordered Vortex Razor HD Gen 3 from him. Uh, super quick shipping and just a pleasure to work with. I'll put his contact information in the uh, video description. You can just click uh, below and you'll see, uh, you can call him, ask him questions, talk about prices with him. So got this Razor HD from him and also we were talking about mounts and I got this Badger Ordnance. It's a Una mount with a 20 MOA cant, 1.54 height for 34 millimeter. And these are American made Badger Ordnance. So he gave me a little bit of a break buying both of these together. And uh, I mean, this was a big, this was a big ticket item. I've been looking to get a scope for, for this setup specifically. And uh, the, the Vortex Razor, really hard to, to compete with these in the price range course their msrp is really high if you shop around a little bit you can find a, a pretty good deal on one and uh, hopefully you don't have to pay sales tax because i don't want to have to pay tax 18 times on my earnings just to get stuff spend money on stuff it's just ridiculous so um if you're not in louisiana where he is and uh, your state uh, has good rules on that you may um you may find someone or somewhere to get stuff without having to pay sales tax talk to steve he's great he knows his stuff and uh he he can potentially put something together so one of the complaints about the razor was the turrets that when you pull them up and you move the turrets that you'll lose it'll pop down and lock on you or you won't be able to stay um, on the upper there's a pull up so it's locked when you push down pull up to to navigate the turret now you can send these back to vortex to get that disabled some guys are even putting a, a pvc ring or a washer in here to just keep it um, unlocked so these have a new system with this just a one screw to zero set your zero stop kind of nice uh, really nice turrets i haven't noticed playing around with this that the turrets pop down I do have a recent manufacturer model, so maybe Vortex has finally realized that people aren't happy about that, and uh, they switched over to um, the fix they offer on the new models. Not sure, but mine doesn't seem to have any issues. The turrets, they feel great. I mean, they feel really, really great. So uh, one new thing is when I was reading about this Vortex, they... Um, didn't used to come with scope caps, but mine had scope caps. The other things it comes with, they give you uh, two batteries for the illumination. They give you a lens cloth. They give you two sets of tools. And they also give you a throw lever. This is the nice one from Vortex. It's uh, aluminum. And I like these. They are a little bit more expensive, but hey, they throw that in. You also get this uh, sunshade. The color, for some people, they don't like the color. I don't care. I mean, I'm, I'm not in this for a fashion show. It's functional. I, I mean, it just, it looks good to me. It's, it's, uh, they call it, I think, stealth gray or something. Whatever. The color's fine. Uh, I'm more interested in the uh, reticle and the capabilities. I got mine in Mills. This is the EBR7D reticle. You can see it there. And the illumination knob on this, it pops out. You go to your setting and then you lock it in or you can just leave it out and every adjustment has an off next to it the parallax is pretty
pretty easy and smooth. It goes all the way down to 10 yards and then it goes to a thousand. Been very happy with the glass. I do have some other Vipers. I have a Night Force. The zoom is, is actually pretty easy to turn, um, more so than my other scopes, but it also has a throw lever. I usually use a throw lever, but honestly, you don't even really need it with this. It's kind of nice to have it. These Badger mounts are really nice. Um, they're, they have these um, little holes they drill in and they make them modular, they, they say. So you can see here all the things you can do with your Badger mounts. I just ordered another one with an anti-cant device or a bubble level. So I'll be showing that. Please make sure to check out my other videos and to subscribe if you're not a subscriber so that uh, you can stay up to date. You can get these mounts for other optics, for red dots, uh, different accessories off the side, angle mounts, they're, they're pretty cool. And the way they achieve that is just by leaving uh, some, some nice little connection points. And also you can change the caps out for different things. Other things I'm gonna add on this rifle. So I have this uh, Area 419 M-Lock rail and it has these um, ratcheting sort of adjustments on the side. It's made for M-Lock. This is the 12 inch the Arca lock with hardware and it comes with um, M-Lock screws. There's a couple things about these I'm finding. Number one is if the screws are too tall, you can actually um, touch the barrel, push the barrel, screw into the barrel. So there's, um, they don't look that tall. They're maybe a little bit larger than a quarter inch. Um, the other problem with using this on this rifle is the LMT has a, uh, sling mount here. I didn't buy this for this rifle. I just, I've sort of had it. This is the M-Lock upper. It's about seven and a half inches of this dimension. And then you hit this uh, QD mount for a sling. So this rail is not gonna work here. Um, I suppose I could get spacers or something, but that sling mount up front is not gonna make it happen. The other thing with these Area 419 rails so they do have uh, four M-lock points with a little support and the front can hang off. So you don't need to, that, that section isn't supported and you don't need, you don't need an M-lock slot for the front. So the, the portion that you do need for the 12 inch M-lock rail, you need about nine inches M-lock rail to be able to attach that. And then again, this has about, right about seven and a half inches on the LMT M-Lock upper. I'm gonna add a uh, Atlas bipod. I love these. They're, I mean like 90% metal and they're like four to nine inches of adjustment. Heavy duty components. I've yet to break one. I use them quite often. And the only complaint I have about this style, and there are other styles where they just have a little throw lever the PSR style, I think, is like that with a, a just a lever. But this um, nut here can be a little bit difficult to get adjusted, especially when you're in the field and you don't want the bipod to be moving. It can sometimes be a little bit. So there's a couple solutions for that. Uh, sometimes at home, I can just get them down with a wrench to where I'm happy with it. But there is a product by Annex Defense. I have another video where they make a uh, throw lever for the lock here. Um, there's another version that these feet don't walk like this or turn. But one thing is when, when I do have it out and I'm on a hard surface, um, what, what you can do is you can actually, these will roll as you move the rifle if you're on a hard surface like a bench or something. Uh, but other than that, they have pretty good adjustment, really nice. Um, so you can actually, you can get these from Steve too. He'll give you a quote. Oh, the other thing is I do have, this is the Arca lock clamp from uh, area 419. It actually interplays with the Atlas bipod. So you can mount this. If you get a bipod with no clamp, you can mount this bipod onto this. Then this clamp will interplay with this bottom rail. So you have all that adjustment space. And the other great thing about this, if you ever shoot off of a tripod, I have a video on this. This is the Leofoto LN364C. Really beefy, big feet, just a really lovely tripod. 
You can get this on Amazon. I'll put a link. Loophold, and I even think Vortex and a couple other companies copy. They relabel these Leo photos. They put their label here. They put their label here. They change the color a little bit, but it's the same exact tripod, and they're like two, three, four, five hundred dollars more. So if you need a tripod, get the Leo photo one. Save yourself some money. Get some other accessories. Again, I'll put a link to this in my uh, in the description of the video. But if you get a rail like this, there's a bunch of companies making these. I just happen to have this Area 419. Um, then you can you can mount this rail to your rifle, and then you will have an adjustable all along the base for all different positions. You will be able to adjust uh, on this rail. And then the, the tripod, I mean, this is really nice. So you could just put this in with M-Lock, bam, done with it. But what if you wanna take it off? This is kind of nice. Well, it'll be like this. It grabs onto this rail so I could take it off. I could switch the adjustment, the position. It has these little um, teeth that are supposed to help with grip and then also being able to adjust. There's a bunch of other Area 419 accessories. They make a bag that clamps onto this. They make weight. However, you need to get a version that fits on your handguard, or if you got a bolt action, uh, 12 inches should fit with most of them. So I'll be messing around with this. I'm gonna test the accuracy. I'm gonna get some hand loads going. I do have another 6.5 Creedmoor AR-10 from Arrow. I was just shooting that this weekend, and I was finding that that has a stainless steel barrel, but the Arrow Precision stainless steel barrels are pretty darn nice. I was getting pretty good sub MOA accuracy out of it. Finally have uh, an LMT 6.5 AR-10. I have another one in 308 uh, that I've been very, very happy with. And I was just shooting that this weekend too. It was just pounding 500 yard, 600 yard steel target. And the thing is just a champ. Hit up Colonial Armory. Steve will be able to help you out and you can go through pricing. They got all kinds of different stuff. Badger mounts are really nice. They do go out of stock quite often. Get them while you can. I mean, there's still all this supply chain stuff and all these legislators are running their mouths. ATF is uh, making up their own rules as they go. Difficult time for responsible citizens who want to exercise their God-given rights. Subscribe to the channel if you're not a subscriber. You guys pick the content. There's a bunch of crap out there, but you guys get to pick, at least on YouTube, at least for now, what kind of content you would like to see. Thank you everybody for watching.